the skirt. Left it in the past like skirt. Get into the bag like skirt. Skirt, 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 skirt. People really think my life is perfect. Maybe cause I'm laughing through the worst shit. Yeah, I know the devil is a lie, but the way that I've been moving got him nervous. Mac, I hope you know you did your thing. Get your rest, cause homie, you deserve it. Ocean always deeper than it seems. People only looking at the surface. Pa Paparazzi call me hopping out my bag. Ayy, hopping in the Uber on my way to get the bag. Ayy, used to drink a bottle every day cause I was sad. Ayy, I hit up my dad like I hope that we could pass things. Woman could not put me in my feelings, nigga, fuck that. If she do not want the realest nigga, then she darn whack. I don't never trip, but I bet that you would love that. I don't never trip, but I bet that you would love that. Dodging bad vibes like skirt. Drama on my line like skirt. Left it in the past like skirt. Get into the bag like skirt. Skirt, 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 Shawty never smoke kush like this, I'm fast Music playing, grinding on me You know I had to push right back, reflex, respect No suspect, shit came late, goofy niggas missed the sunset We ain't even give a fuck, got the back was though Drop those niggas would've been upset Only hit it two times, cause I know that the paper's more of a speech you can fuck with And I like that shit, she don't duck shit, but we was cool And I said we didn't want smoke, so when the cops popped up It was pop smoke, niggas proceeded to get on that fuck shit I don't worry about dying for speaking my mind They keep on calling it tough shit They ain't do too much, just rough shit Whole time that really is way too much shit Playing that shit Right, it's some tough shit, and they know just which one to fuck with. It's just some shit we stuck with. We was off the drugs, we was off the drinks, we was off the vibes. Got nothing to hide on with the squad, don't make me throw it up. She by my side, we wanna fly, we ride or die. Damn nigga, let me breathe. Damn nigga, let me cook. Damn friendly, give me space so quick to shoot. No Devin Book can't even look me in my face, can't play it straight. These niggas are crooks, they play hate. I'm on my shit. About my whip, like how you get it, bitch. I bought it, took my ticket for the tip. That might not seem too intense, but I ain't with this shit. Two months the first day back, they on some shit. I can't let them steal my joy. See my niggas fucking with. Heard the whole squad at the beach. I'm back home, no, 
like creamy like Robert De Niro. Took her to talk about butter and churro. Took her home, gave her the cinnamon swirl. I left it in, now I got a one euro. Zeros on zeros on zeros. That's what my bank account balance say. I got a check from a shoe company, now I do anything in New Orleans say. I bought her a plane to get out of state. I got me a shorty from Runaway, said I'm in town today. She said she coming over and she down to stay. I got a hit, she been playing that shit. So when she pull up on me, I know what she about to say. What's poppin'? Brand new whip, just hopped in. I got options, I can pass that bitch like Stockton Just Josh, she's spending this holiday locked in My body got rid of them toxins Explosing the top 10 Callin' my bitch, tell her bring me that noggin Brain real good, she's scholar I like a thing with no mileage, good brain with no college Call me the baby, no toddler I'm real creative and style, that fin in my dental I send that hit, make them spin them. And I just flew back from L.A. on the G Yesterday I go back and forth like I play tennis I fuck with your hoe, yeah, I feel for it Still on the billboard, the number one song in UK And now they got so fucking rich, all these songs are my I still don't give a fuck what you say She eat it like a Batman, nigga, whoop a nigga like a Batman Nigga, I just put up in the Batmobile The reason I ain't fucking with these rap-ass niggas Cause they cap-ass niggas and they rats ain't real Believe me, you wanna keep your life and take it easy I'm rocking water diamonds, need a squeeze These niggas water down, they drinkin' bees My whip is orange and brown like I'm in Cleveland My bitch is yellow, yellow like a soda They sick and tired of tell us I'm a soldier Hey, somebody tell them niggas that it's over No, it's baby, baby What's poppin'? Brand new whip, just hoppin' I got houses, I can pass it I got it, I caught it, I'm out of it, somebody bought it, she calling me daddy, I'm somebody's father, I gotta go kiss it, I will not go kiss it, I put my lips on it like somebody bought it, a diamond and clay, she done caught it a while, and she put up the story, but nobody caught it, she told me that she wasn't spilling my music, I bought it, she told me it's nobody, I'm on it, and I'm with the G-Ski, I need that shit for the free ski, we are not buying no PC, you sell it on p Street. so much work on my cellar, I had to go tell all my bitches, email it to reach me, all of my DM, I'm gonna follow you, DM, I'm gonna with the cool ski, we used to come on a low ski, she used to lie on my bed and go lie to your face and say I'm just a low ski.
Anytime you call me, I am ready to answer. Wanna stand and tell you, get like I am young. I'm always right. And I know I shoot. And I know I fight. I tell you once, I'll tell you twice. I'm real discreet. Like a thief in the night. Look, if I call you babe, you babe for the day. Or babe for the night. You not my wife. She wanna kill her, so f*** all night I wanna f*** on the die, give me a f*** all night AP, big rocks, in the hood with the realest 5K on the dinner, bring 300 down to the dealer I did some wrong, but I'm always right Said I know how to shoot, and I know how to fight If I tell you once, I'll tell you twice I'm real discreet, like a thief in the night I'm rich, but I'm riding. I'm low on exotic. I'm about to fly out and go get me some. Nothing ain't sweet. All this money on me. On the rats in the bag, that's a hundred money. Baby OG, I've been running these streets. Got a game from the shine on my mama's son. Learned about the triple cross when I was young. And I know I ain't going, so I keep a gun. I flew to Paris just to buy some Dior. She begging for attention, I don't see her. CIP pop, I wish that you could see us. Me and Cash Plus whenever I go real. I got some n****s in the street, won't beat me. I got the industry, you try to get me. I just go Ray Charles, they can't see me. I'm in a Rolls Royce. Me and a nigga that spend it, cause you know I like that big shit. He give me all this money, make me swipe it for no reason. Talk nasty like the baby, got him licking on my titty. He stay bragging on the shorty, cause I'm hottest in the city. Need a nigga that spend it, cause he know I like that big shit. We pull up in all designer, and we leaving with your pity. Forget about the trauma, that trap money got me healing, and we keep it on the low. I won't let these bitches get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't want hoe, really ain't up on shit. Hey. We ain't not the same place, I got my own vid. Yeah, yeah. It don't make no sense, all this money on crib. But, but, but he finna spend it on a bitch like this. Walk up in the room, all them niggas finna look at me. Yeah. Got me some attention, now they booking me. Yeah. Wanna fly me out, cause he missing me. We be getting silly when we fucking off the Hennessy. Yeah. Money talking to me like, baby, you rude. I don't give a fuck, bad and bougie, I'm cool. We could run it up, cause when I see him, he'll drool. Open up the door, watch me like, ooh, sexy. Lo, mama, sex me. I don't know, he text me, but blowing. Back and press me. Um, I'm in a new wave that they trying to get. Rich nigga, six figure, treat me to gifts. Run it up, ho, take me out to Saks Fifth. Bands up, rands up, spinning out of shit. Got a nigga, let it keep me in some fleek shit. Slow mo when we fucking on the freak, bitch. Left that nigga cause he wasn't on some me shit. And I never do a feature on some free shit. Top dog, little baby, and I'm top bitch. So I let him scoop it up like some chopsticks. Blessing cause he know I'm trending top bit. And I love to freak him off in the mosh pit. Last nigga ain't know how to act at all. Flex on me, baby, you'll rise and fall. Pause your life. When you see I call, need me a nigga to buy the whole mall. Damn, boy, you nasty. He coolin' cause I'm classy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to those who are new. Welcome to those who are currently tuning in. It is your girl, Michonne Lorraine. Welcome to everybody that's old and everybody that's just tuning in. It's oh, your boy I CJ. I want to call them old, man. It's <laughs> just like, you know, thank you to the viewers that are already been loyally faithful to watching our show. You know? Just, just want to be inclusive, that's all, you know? Episode 11. You it's know? 11? Yeah, season two. Hey. Season two, so we're doing really great. We have, we've had wonderful guests on the show and we have more coming this upcoming season um i just want to thank everyone you know i'm feeling great today i hope you're feeling great today Yo, i'm feeling magnificent you know a lot of a lot of people a lot of things to try to take your energy especially over the weekend with me you know but you know it's just, it's just the, the spoils of success honestly just progress honestly anytime you're making progress it's always those things at least you know like we know we're going in the right direction you know yeah that's how i look at those things yeah, what do you mean by that, though? Like, when you're going the right direction, that's when you start getting friction, when you start going into those new areas. Like, if you work out, like right now, my max at benching is at 245 right now because I ain't really been working out like that. But when you're going past those limits, you be sore. It's like you start, like, like the bar starts shaking, but you got to do that. That's how you know you're making progress. Then take a two days off, recover, next day, 
So it's like with progress in general, that's just the general spot. Like that's my therapy mm-hmm. space. Like you can get really get a lot of life out of just the gym and the weight room for real. It's more not just working out, it's mental too. But yeah, whenever you start making progress, that's when you start meeting opposition. So, yeah. Yeah, it's opposition. It's you know, you we get frustrated when those things come. Several but f- different fields, you know, opposition in different fields. Yeah. But that just comes with, like you said, it's progress. When you know you're doing the right thing, when you know you're on the right track. And I just want to appreciate, you know, every guest that we brought because they have mentioned that, you know, times are going to get really testy. You know, there's going to be times where your faith has been tried. Yeah, most definitely. But you just got to keep focused on the positive and keep focused on your support system remember what's important the bigger picture you know Always. remember what you have control over which is yourself so you know just remember that and just stay focused on that like I said well, like what Drake said we say focus on yourself and all that other bullshit is here today and gone tomorrow yeah so like I said we're gonna take this quick commercial break and we're gonna get right into it for today I'm 
body, baby, why not? She tell me that my dog make a wine die. She tell me that my dog make a climax. She tell me that I'm gonna move, baby, move, baby, 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 Girl, so many things in my mind now. Make you suck, make a fuck, baby, right now. I've been waiting for tonight, night, night. Where the energy feels right, right, right. Where my talk make you feel right, right, right. Say so tonight we come alive, like, like. Make you drink up while we reminisce. Oh, yeah. Say a prayer for our enemies. Oh, yeah. Say my love, now you're remedy. Oh, yeah. Baby, girl, you mean a lot to me. A lot of me. Got the pretty, pretty lady, we don't like no stress. She got her own, but she needs some love. She got her own, but she needs some love. Let she tell me, say, now only me, they make her love. Tell me, say, now only me, they cool as stress. Hola. She tell me, say, now only me, she want. She tell me, say, now me, they make her calm. She tell me, say, now me, they keep her warm. She tell me, say, now only me, they make her feel alright. Yeah, she tell me, say, now only me, they make her feel alright. After the big game, my baby, yeah, we cuddle every night. She they ride it like a bike, riding a thousand miles. Steady while she riding, and she gentle when she ride. He's got wine, be make my own cry. This one you show me when they pass my eye. When they must have us, baby, can I go down? I'll be waiting for tonight, yeah, yeah. She said, with the be the man, yeah, yeah. She said, with the get his stamina. I'm warming up, I'm getting warming up. Make a drink up while we reminisce. Say a prayer for our enemies. Say my love, now your remedy. Baby, girl, you made a lot of me. Got the pretty, pretty lady, we don't like no stress. She got her own no machine in some love. DJ. She got her own Sings. machine in some love. Yeah, she got her own machine in some love. Let me say that only me, they want it. A girl is dating the only me she wants. Must have strong arms, arms for heavy lifting. Let me see the greatest and the most important. Looks not important to me. You will never look as good as the girls on my bootlegs, white labels, and CD covers. But please try not to look uglier than any of my DJ buddies' girlfriends. I really hate that. Don't touch my equipment. No more dating DJs, MCs, producers, hip hop critics, radio hosts, etc. I like music, long walks on any street that sells used records. Music, being a hater. Music, and I do like music. Must be able to watch several hours of DMZ World Championship video footage. P.S. If you've never heard of DJ Rectangle, please do not apply. I'm done with dating rappers, MCs, DJs. I'm looking for a real nice Rogers Cable guy who thinks the technique is a way to make love to me. I was in love with your potential. I thought your hands were speaking to me. Remember when we met and you were on that Jungle Brothers back to Africa trip? You got me to throw away my rope chain. Even took the chemicals out my hair. You said you were my man. And we would be a strong black unit to change. But your mama's basement was too small to have to come No more dating DJs, MCs, producers, hip hop critics, radio, etc. You take these girls for joke, skin feet like the two of y'all gonna live happy ever after. They study dinosaurs. We call them dino whores. Why? Cause that's what you call the girls who flock to the clubs on a Saturday night to do what she can to catch a Toronto Raptor. She's an adapter. You can take your yellow page and dumpling make it body tricks, but you personally out Yeah. 
Welcome back. I just want to say we have a very special guest today. He is a creative artist. Um, I met him through Justin, Uncle Justin. Shout out to the supporters again. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's a huge family. It's a huge family out here. And, um, you know, I want to let him introduce himself today. You go ahead. What's good, y'all? I'm Sean. I'm Sean Francis. I graduated from Frostburg State University with a bachelor's degree in mass communication, and I'm from Washington, D.C. Washington, okay. D.C. Represent. I'm glad to finally get a D.C. citizen. Well, you stay in there currently, or are you just from there? From D.C. Okay, okay. Where you where you stay at now? Well, I mean, I live in D.C. right now, so. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah. D.C. D.C. reside. Oh, Sean, welcome to the OG family, man. I hope you, you know, send some more people our way. I hope, you know. Even impact as well today too. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you. Also, happy uh, Women's History Month, my Sean. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. You know, if I want to speak about that too because apparently we just made some more history last night on the Grammys. Yeah. What happened? Um, Megan The Stallion. She actually won a Best New Artist, and that was like a long time since. Um, I can't recall who was the last one. I don't know who the last person was. I think it was. Dang, I forgot. But her and Beyonce, they did their thing. Beyonce won like a billion Grammys last night. But hey, Damn. what you expect? It's like, nah. Look, I appreciate all these women out here making new history every day. But I feel like it's a part of, you know, just nature at this point to go out and go beyond what we create our own limits to be like. Limits are only what we make them. And, you know, we could do anything a guy can do. And that's just, I feel like, the point of this month, for real. Yeah. Like, just to show, hey, we're out here. We can do this, too. Yeah. Isn't that? We're responsible for this. We're responsible for a lot, actually. I appreciate, look, I appreciate Women's Day and Women's Month. Like, people don't understand. You got to look for the ones that's like, the guys that be like, oh, there's no Men's Day. Like, look, you just... Look, brush them off. It's really not that big of an issue for real. And honestly, it, there is one. They just don't know what it is. I know the date, but it's really not that big of a deal. But yeah. yes. If it, it was is. up to me, you know, it's every day. <laughs> it's every day. So it's all good. Yeah. As long as we highlight those accomplishments that, you know, that we highlight that men, do, like we can highlight the women as well. You know? Yeah. So, yes, yeah, so let's, let's get into Sean. Sean, talk about what you like to do, what you have done. Because I know I can go on and on from what I've seen. I follow you on Instagram. You know, the homies, Gary, Justin, they praise you. They be like, yes, like, tap in with Sean. Yeah, they're the bros, man. Shout out to them. Shout out, Gary. Shout out, Justin. Shout out. Mm -hmm. Very diverse resume from what I've been looking at, too, you know. Thank you. But, like, just content, like, honestly, that's really the, what I can say. Like, you got a lot of content in different areas and different aspects, you know. Yes, let's get into this show. So, what made you want to start hosting your radio show radio show for frostburg y'all um basically before before the radio show i was i was like basically getting involved in like taking classes like radio workshop and the tv workshop as well at frostburg and also before that i started to like watch a couple interviews such as like the breakfast club i'm like i'm a huge fan of the breakfast club angelie Charlemagne the god uh dj envy and how they operate so i wanted to like actually look at a lot of videos and because basically, basically they have their own individual side of, um, besides the uh, radio show. So I wanted to like take all that into consideration and put my own little spin to it. So that's what I did. And um, TV aspect, definitely I grew up watching 106 in Park. It was like a huge vibe after a long day at school. So I started uh, doing that. I started doing a couple interviews. Like I interviewed Justin um, at Frostburg, Ashley, Road the Poet. And then interviews-wise, definitely interviewed uh, Kayla, K. Simone, Michael Meyer, uh, Kid Devil, Rob, so all Frostburg artists. So basically, I didn't want to just label to just music artists. I wanted to like actually be versatile, so people have their own 
I see like one girl, Kay Simone, who I just shout out. So they she has her own fitness business, her own um, makeup line. So I wanted to actually be versatile and just actually people just stick me like, oh, they just oh, you sticking to just the music side, not about the the people who do uh, cooking or have their own car business or anything like that. So I just wanted to tap into that though. So yo, so uh, yeah. Definitely a similar business model. Yo, like which era of 106 and Park though? The the Roxy Terrence era? Terrence and Roxy. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Terrence and Roxy. Just, yeah. just make sure, yeah, bro, I was doing the same thing, bro. I get home be like, yo, like, yo, I blast that drink trying to get into something. But yeah, nah, most definitely like, shoot, we need to be taking some pointers from him. Getting some. Well, and I see you as a community hero for real because you always just trying to connect people with people. Definitely. You know, you're constantly doing that. That's what's, That's how I see it. I can't really put a label on it, but a hero for the community. Oh, do you got any, like, like what's, what were some of the things that you were studying with the radio show? Like, you said you were studying 106 in part. What are some key elements that you saw that could help make, one, for your radio show, and shoot, even for our podcast, like, what's some elements that you think that's really out there in the game right now that's not really, you know, that's not really being tapped into? Um, basically, like, a lot of key points that I started taking – Definitely a lot of advice from my uh, professor at the time, Chuck. Basically saying, like, keep your hands with, with, with away from the microphone, like, six inches. You can't be, like, too close. Like, I mean, yeah, you can't be too close because, like, feedback and all that. People can understand what you're saying. And, um, yeah, most definitely be all muffled. So, also, you have to call, like, basically call the call letters at the end, beginning, middle, and end of every show because it makes sure that your people are still tuning in and okay. things like that. So, that's how I grew up. And also, um, definitely, I learned more about the, the teleprompter side and the... Uh, the floor director. I didn't know what you, I didn't know what it was until I started uh, taking classes from that as well. So I started taking like four times and passed with an A because I wanted to make sure I wanted to get more um, involved in that. I made sure I wanted to study more than just taking it just one class um, and that's it. I might wanted to keep it going so I can study more like when I get in the future when I have my own production company in the future. So cool. Definitely. All right. So production company. So is that one of the other things you want to do or like what do you want to do? Let's say five years from now, or ten years, five to ten years. Uh, most definitely, uh, yeah, like I said, a television production company. Just more like just giving people an opportunity to actually pitch their ideas to me, and I can basically make it happen from there. Like it could be, hopefully, one day in the future, be like BET or MTV, or you know, just a case like that. Do you think it's like hard getting access to like you know, access to public television, getting your own channel? Yeah, it is a little process because, like, more is likely it comes to the, it will come to the territory because it's more like it involves like money. You have to evolve. You have to take a lot of time out of your busy schedule to focus on that show. You want, um, you're you're going to be doing a radio show, TV show for different networks or creating your own show. It takes a lot of time and a lot of money. So it's basically, um, I'm not there yet, but one day I will be. But as far as I got, I got to like basically yes, keep sir. my mindset going. So yes, sir, I'm here to support that any means possible because I'm here for that. Want to see that happen. Yo, same here. I'm not going to hold you. I don't know about you, but I be seeing, like, OG doing some, like, studio-type, you know, expansion like that, having her own channel and doing, like, you know, really booking, like, these it's, live performances and these guests. And It's multiple possibilities for OG. OG. Just know it's multiple. But, yes, I want to ask Sean. Sean, what do you believe your purpose is in life? Uh, definitely keep faith in God because without God, you wouldn't be here. So I definitely um, I try to pray every day, um, pray every morning, every day, not just like in one area, but just everywhere. Like involves like I want to pray for to get like past my classes or get a good job at a view. I definitely want to keep praying for that as well. And why do you believe that your faith in God is so important just for the audience that are tuning in? It's very important because one thing is like because I haven't been to church in like since 2015. And I was like, I, I started to. Um, it was a Christian organization on campus. Shout out to 100% Triumph. Um, they took me in. It was like a Bible study session. So definitely it's more about, um, yeah, to keep keep more about basically keep faith in God. And, um, yeah, and then, yeah, so. If you don't mind me asking, like, um, as far as, like, what you praying for, like, is you seeking, like, I, like with my relationship, like, I always, how do you, look for your guidance or how do you get your answers when you doing that like are you looking for little signs or are you taking things as they come to you like are you like you say i pray that i passed this test or like how do you know like you doing the right thing are you doing what you you know supposed to be doing i just basically keep moving forward and not like let little stuff like 
get to me, like little negative stuff like that um, get to me. Because basically, if I if I started like looking at um, at a negative aspect more, like if people trying to like come for me in a certain sense, I feel like I'm gonna brush it off because I feel like all this negative stuff is not gonna be like what do I gain from that? You know, what I mean, I wanted yeah. to actually um, keep a, a positive um, faith and just move forward from there. Someone, we got someone in the building who got almost a hundred percent self of control sense of self-control man like i see you and i see nothing can break you at this point like you're really you're really on the right path and Thank i you. really admire that so we're going to take another commercial break come right back after this all right I'm Virginia Sudan and we're Sankofa Financial Group. We're a family-owned CPA firm providing tax planning and wealth management services. Our business is family friendly and we can't wait to meet you and your family. So check us out at www.sankofafinancial.net. Say my name, if you claim you want me, 
It ain't no that you acting kinda shady. You ain't been calling me baby, yo. Boy, you can go stop playing games, playing games. I know you see it in my life, I'm on your mind, and that you want this bad, so I'm cool with that. I'm just trying to match your words with your actions. I need more than satisfaction. Did you really feel that action? Really want to give you up, reflect in front of your friends. How that works? Swear that you're doing the most, but we take a picture, get posted. How that works? Would you tell me back that shit up? Won't you say my, say my? So won't you say my name, say my name? If you claim you want me, it ain't no plan. You run fast from a day job, running fast from the way it was. Jump quick to the paycheck, running back to the strip club. I'm never going back, never going back. No, you can't make me. Never going back, never going back. They never take me. I paid enough of petty dues. I put enough of shitty news. I had a thing for dirty shoes since I was 10. Love dirty men alike. Today they catch today. Ooh, I just take it day by day. Ooh, uh, never hearing what they say. Ooh, ooh, I just do it my way. Welcome back, everybody. Back again. So I wanted to ask a few questions. Sean, you know, is there anyone in particular or a particular moment in time that really impacted you and inspired you to start wanting to do everything you do, the hosting, dancing, you know, connecting people, bringing people together? Uh, for the dancing part, uh, I started dancing since I was like a baby, since I was a kid. So I started growing up watching Michael Jackson first and then Chris Brown. I started, I'm like, I was self-taught, basically, because I started watching like a couple of tutorial videos of them pop-locking and dancing and break dancing a little bit. Damn, you skipped Usher? Oh, Usher, yeah, Usher oh, too, yeah, Usher. Yeah. Usher, yeah. Usher, yeah. Usher, yeah. Usher, yeah. Usher, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you going through the progression? It's like Mike, Chris, uh, like Usher, like Michael Jackson, and Usher, and Chris Brown, yeah, yeah. 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 That era, so yeah, um... So yeah, most definitely. Um, and also dancing definitely it keeps you like a, a good spirit. It's more like you just basically step out of your comfort zone. Like you don't care what no one got to say about. I mean, yeah, you don't got to care what nobody say about you. Like yeah, you can't dance. Like one thing I like to dance for fun, yeah. not just to like battle, not to like compete. Just basically like to do for fun, just to give that. It's like a stress reliever. And also, also like for dancing wise, when I posted that recent, I recently, I recently, I recently dropped a dance video. Um, like about this, like a day of the last day of Black History Month, and then I started. And everybody else, Tag, Scooter Smith, and Chris Brown, because I was dancing to their song, by the way. Scooter Smith and Chris Brown's uh, hit of my class so it came back in like 08. Mm -hmm. So I, I, t I started telling everyone to like, yo, Tag, Scooter, Tag, Chris Brown, but I was hopefully like, I'm a fan of Chris Brown, so I was hoping Chris Brown would see it, but he didn't see it. So <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, Scooter Smith saw it, and he, was a, he used to be signed to Chris Brown back in the day. Okay. Like, he used to be a backup dancer for Chris Brown, dancing for him on BT to VMAs, the one six apart. So he saw it, and then he, he reposted the same day. Same of when I dropped the video on Instagram and Twitter. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, and you just, know, CB had to see it, though. Yeah. He probably saw it. It stood over, like, 4,000 views, so. Yes. Yeah, on Instagram, so. Yes. And then, like, uh, social media, definitely, um, I joined an organization on campus for, like, about the last four or five years called Creative Minds. Shout out to Creative Minds, the fam for life. 
Um, uh, Creative Minds is an organization on campus. It's about like music, people who want to like actually create music, such as like rap, sing, dance, do poetry, producing, or things like that. And it's also founded by Justin. So that's why I got. Yeah, that's why I met Justin, Justin. Rothberg, So I need to get Justin back out here. Like, yeah. no, yeah, Justin does a lot for real. Yeah. So that's why I started. I met. I met. Fro- I met Justin at Frostburg. This is like before Creative Minds. I met him through the when he was performing at Lil, for Lil Uzi. Yeah. So yeah, back in spring 2016, that's my first year at Frostburg when I went there. So I'm like, who's this? Who's this guy rapping? I'm like, <laughs> I thought. I thought he like they just brought him here just to like perform. I'm like, but he actually goes to Frostburg. I'm like, oh snap! I didn't. Even, I didn't even know that. So, but then on like the same year. He created an organization called Creative Minds to provide for um, events for like, you know, we did we did like events like before like the show like Diddy DJ Khaled and Fergie and then while and out we create recreated that as well, mm-hmm. and then a bunch of rap ciphers we did that like the first rap cipher was was lit so over a lot of people came like about 200, 300 people came so it was, uh, and also the last event that we had before COVID was Creative Slam and like over three hundred people came as well like people started while and out dancing having a good time I performed there that was my last show by the way before I had to graduate. And um, also people started throwing a lot of money. By the way, the money was real, not really fake. But yeah, so it was it was a lot of it was a lot of good show. It was a, it was a great show there. And um, yeah, so people who want to do music and you don't have to like actually be a rapper or be a dancer or do or produce or a DJ to actually join an organization like Creative Minds. You can just basically you can still be a part of the team or you can still be a part of the board regardless if you if you do music. Like we just we're open to everyone to actually have broad ideas. It's like we can actually. Um, impact and change the world for real. Besides yeah. just the music aspects of it, so you also do you have to go to Frostburg to join the team? No, you can just join any. I mean, well, Frostburg, yeah, that's that was for Frostburg State. But as far as like an, an organization in general, you can just join any organization on campus, like whatever fits your um your best interest. And in. it could be like a modeling organization, like music, or pre med society, okay. or anything like that. So just open. be more versatile. It's just the music aspect. So yes, I mean, hit the slight flex, real money. No, yeah. You got any questions? Nah, not so far right now, yo. Definitely with the, um, I'll say with the organizations, like, just, yo, I was surprised Justin do a whole bunch of stuff like that, though. Oh, but, yeah, nah, I knew. Yo, like, definitely, how do you relate all of that back into the radio show that you did? Like, did you ever, like, talk to all these different organizations to get them on the show or things like that, or? I basically just started scoping out, like, I started, like, uh, reaching out to a couple of my friends like who do music who do uh fitness line the clothing line basically just let them uh, before i booked them i have to like ask them like what when are they free to do this um interview i'm like oh yeah they free on the thursday i'm like let's do it on the thursday but i re- usually when i do this it's like before i do that i started um researching and do my homework based on what they do i didn't want to just start bringing them um to a show and not really have the homework side not really do my research because i'll be like unprofessional if i wouldn't do that so I would say I, when I started recent researching podcasts, I did see that the guest po- guest method is a good method for podcasts, like just starting out to really get that engagement and traction, like having guests and doing interviews, conducting interviews. Like that was really one of the other ways that they were saying. So I definitely, definitely did look into that. I don't know if like those are related podcasts and radios. Right. Like I don't know if that research is, you know, similar. I feel like podcasts are kind of still new you know what i'm saying it's like a new territory for real yeah but yeah so you know i'm just still going off of creative minds um the next question involves creativity and i wanted to know what do you believe creativity means to you um what creativity means to me is that you can just basically you can have your own type of style like you don't have to like copy what else is doing you can just basically create your own unique um style which is like basically do music basically do like starting a book um yeah a, a book line book a uh, group or just do cooking if you want to do cooking you can you want to start uh owning your own business and becoming a real estate agent you can like you don't have to like just be uh be copying and about what someone else do just because you want to just because you feel like doing it but you want to actually find your own lane as well so how do you feel about inspired work then like you creative, but if it's inspired by something else, like well, how do you differentiate the two? Because you said creative, like your own original thought. Creative, my own original thought. Um, so, creative, my own original thought. Basically, I just like to, uh, for inspiration, I definitely want to um, help motivate people to actually say, like, you know what, you don't, 
have to change for no one. You know what I'm saying? You can just basically be yourself and not really worry about what the haters say or what the negatives say or what the blogs say. Okay. You just got to do you. I agree. I respect that. I respect that. So, can you tell people where to follow you on social media? Uh, follow me on social media at underscore young shack 250 that's underscore y-u-n-g-s-h-a-q 250 that's on twitter and instagram uh facebook at sean francis and on soundcloud i'm really on, i'm really ever on soundcloud but follow me at young shack on soundcloud cool, cool. is that where you'll be also be releasing like you know new projects or new creative things that's where they can follow you have to keep up to date with you oh yeah so back in 2018 was the song called motivate that was like the last song i dropped that's the first original song, by the way. Like, okay. um, I got it from, yeah. So I started uh, in. The, I was in the studio with my former roommate at the time, Avery. Shout out Avery. He produced the beat as well, and also featured Justin. The song was called Motivate, and the Motivate was. I mean, Motivate can mean anything. So, Motivate was basically people who are going through such a hard time. Like, 2020 was a rough year for everyone. Like the police brutality, the Breonna Taylors, the um, George Floyd, the Ahmaud Arbery. So, like, and even before COVID, I wanted to tap into that. Just basically, people like, all right. Instead of just actually started sitting down to complain, you have to like actually stand up and make a difference. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I wanted to tap into. And also like people who are uh basically struggling through school if they want to pass a class or or don't have enough money to actually um to go buy something to eat or things like that, or just basically struggling to get a job for real. So I wanted to actually motivate them and uplift them so that, you know, they can be anything they want to be in life. We just put their minds to it. I'm Friday. I wanna I want the audience, I want everyone to let's get to know Sean more because I'm just learning so much and I'm I'm appreciating what I'm learning, you know? So um well we talked about the radio show. We talked about dancing. That's the music. Um what are your future upcoming projects that you know that we should be looking out for? I mean if you if you want to because you know how people don't want yeah. to really get into that, you know? Uh, um, most likely I want to go to school for my master's to actually learn more about the uh, right not just the radio side but more like just TV production and, and also just basically broadcasting as a whole so I can basically get a more fulfilled to it just like I did just like I watch a lot of shows like 106 Park and Breakfast Club I want to keep on tapping more into that and actually connect with a lot of um, local artists and different celebrities so yeah so will you be able to do your school and merge that on the set aside, like all these other projects that you do to try to merge them together? Yeah, definitely merge it together just to keep it like all both. I want to just like stick it to one, just school, but more actually just to keep it like all in the middle, like all around. I was just to yeah, figure it out. So, okay. Okay. And now I, I just wanted to ask this because it is realistic for me to look at this viewpoint as people have tried to have their own, TV production company, and I mean people, I mean people of color, you know what I'm saying, a black man going out there, going to get his own network, do you think that'll be something kind of challenging to do? Like, a network that's up there, up there, like with CBS and, and stuff. You know, like NBC and things it, like that, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, there has been a yeah. black man that tried that. Yeah. Because, um, <laughs> uh. you know, I, I just know you know, we um, got we got people that work in the security field. So if you need some security, mm, we got you. Yeah, got the got the HQLs, got the got all the licenses, wearing we carry got, permits we got for you. You know, for if permits. you need protection, because I I see you're not gonna stop for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna hold you. Brought that up, yeah, because the last black man that tried to do get a network, I'm just like, you know, yeah, they. Yeah, didn't turn out so well. So what, <laughs> is it, what is it, like money hungry or whatever? No, 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 you didn't hear. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, I was about to say, <laughs> no, but for real, you ain't here. No, what? Oh, nah, we gotta hip him, hip him. All right, know. so if it, is it an episode to really get into that for real? Nah, we just gonna do it really quickly. Right, just really quickly, really quickly. So, you know, someone that we all used to love and cherish was trying to buy NBC, I believe. Yes. And, you know, once he tried to do that, dang, I hope they don't. OG Radio, tune in OG Radio, man. You, you can only tune in, in right here. <laughs> when he tried to buy NBC. Yeah. 
I mean, then then you heard all these women saying he he, ra- he raped them and molested them. Oh and, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So it's yeah. just like if it ain't one thing, it's another. They go and try to yeah. throw at the black man just yeah. to just make him look bad. And now he can't buy a, a network, or now he got to go to jail. Now exactly. he got, he's so okay. damn rich because they don't like seeing a black man rich. But just know, we got you. I'll be in court if they if if you need. I got you, man. You. They only want to see you sucking on pudding pops, and you know they don't want you to see you go past <laughs> oh, that. So, no. yo, they want you to stay in that lane. So, yo, definitely, yeah, yo, yeah. You, you. I'm crazy. I'm just yeah. I'm shocked. At all costs. Well, I actually think a lot of people we know might not know about that situation, but it just mm-hmm. I don't know. Does it kind of make sense in a way? Yeah, it makes sense. Eh, yeah, yeah, but it's not gonna stop you, right? No. That's what I love to hear. What's What's your birthday? August 18th. So oh, you're a Leo. Whew. It was either Leo or Virgo. I was about to say the Virgo <laughs> gang, man. Virgo gang. But still, Leo's they be Leo's are sun signs and I'm not about to get into that because that's a whole nother show topic about signs. I just know that yes. you have a lot of the sun in you. You do a lot of uplifting and it, your spirit's Thank really you. bright, man. It really is. I can't wait to see where you're headed for real. Appreciate you. You got anything, CJ? No, I. No, <laughs> look, I look. I touched on my points for the day. You know, I'm just ready for you know nothing against you. It's just you know I'm ready for the women. I got so much content for the women. I mean, yeah, I'm sorry because we've had back to back. Shout out to all the women though. Yeah, yes. we've yeah. had back to back black kings in the, on the show. So you know, it's really a great time to create any type of platform you can to uplift black men. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We have to, because I love black men. I love all men. Oh, here's another thing I got to say while I can. We got to stop calling ourselves different types of Americans when we were born in America. We're Americans. Like, let's just stop segregating each other at this point. For real. No, for real. When you think about it, like, African-American, I'm American. Yeah, but it's it's always gonna be division in this country, regardless. Because then you got the people that are not from America. That's nah, here. man, that those people can claim who they are, but if you were born in America, then you're American. But they won't though. It's in a sense like I had that when I first got to college. I thought about that. Like, why did it when I got to college? People that was when everybody was putting the different flags in their bios. Yeah, like, oh, I'm from race, this. I'm from race. this. I'm from this. I'm from this. I see I'm all like, the race, all black. race originally Y'all came from that. something to be picked out as when you're like when you were a slave they created a race so that they can see who's the better worker because black men were obviously better workers you know what i'm saying that's i literally watched a video about that okay. where race came from so it's like that's like we're we are continuing with that because that's how we were taught to believe we were taught to believe that stuff but in the end, that just segregates us more as people when we're fighting and protesting. And I'm putting quotes because it's it's really contradicting to keep doing what we're doing, but still continue to think with that mindset. It's it's segregating in a way. It's, yeah, it's divisive. Exclusivity without inclusivity. Yeah, it's really divisive, man. Like at this point, we got to just really come together because I know too many people, all different types of races that love black people. Like, they're their own. Like, they're black. Like, it don't matter. Everybody loves black people. Regardless of what they show on the outside, everybody <laughs> loves black people. That's why they love our culture, our, our everything. Well, and emulate it so much. I can't speak for everybody, but I know I do. So, y'all got that from me. Wherever the camera at. Y'all oh, got goodness. that from me. <laughs> we ain't gonna get too deep into those conversations just yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't yes. trying to get canceled just yet. But, Sean, you got anything you want to say to the viewers? Because, you know, you got any messages, very important, special messages you want to relay? Um, I'll say is keep a small circle. Always pray and never, ever change. Take your own advice. That's the only way you elevate. Got an open mind, but at the top is where I levitate. Never stress yourself. Keep God first. Motivate. And also to, like, um, don't be afraid to, like, don't let no one tell you what you can and can't do. So you have to, when people tell you, like, oh, you can't do something, you can't do nothing, you can't write, you can't dance, just prove to others that you can do something and become a positive change and become an inspiration to the world. So, yeah. I bet. Also, oh, I love oh, and also uh, keep God first, by the way. Yes. God first, man. Keep spitting more for real while you're on the mic, please. <laughs> <laughs> dang, man. <laughs> that that flow, flow, that flow. It. <laughs> Woo. Dang. That's nice. You tell them where to follow you one more time. 
Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at underscore YoungShack250. That's underscore Y-U-N-G-S-H-A-Q-250. And Facebook at Sean Francis. And on SoundCloud at YoungShack. And, uh, yeah, more content coming soon. Yo, we should have had the Beat Your Feet video. We should have had you up here doing that, John. Yo, <laughs> but, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all good. I really love that. Yeah. No, yeah. We are, we are going to take one last commercial break. And we will be right back after this. We are going to close out the show. And we're going to play this Motivate. Motivate. All right. I'm seeing things clearly. Rappers judging people, body looks. I got my own theory. Seeing kids getting killed by cops, I know that life is scary. This ain't no competition, but I got the visionary. My grandfather got diabetes, and that's a struggle. Making sure that he stay healthy and get stronger muscles. I went from being nothing, then I became something. Took a lot of patience and hard work, so I gotta hustle. Only focused on my visions, praying that they manifest. Don't get involved with no drama, only option is success. They say the best is yet to come, don't gotta take a test. My future bright and living life with no regrets. Uh, the way I rap, you see the pain in my eyes. I'd rather show my true colors than be making up lies. And if you ain't talking money, you just wasting my time. I always keep my guard up, I know my life on the rise. In my own zone, in my own lane, no traffic and no tweaking. I show no weakness, left the past and watch it shred the pieces. Always staying positive and practice what I'm preaching. Gotta humble yourself, only way that you can seek achievement. Keep a small circle, always pray and never ever change. Take your own advice, that's the only way you elevate. Got an open mind, but at the top it's where I levitate. Never stress yourself, keep God first, motivate. Keep a small circle, always pray and never ever change. Take your own advice, that's the only way you elevate. Got an open mind, but at the top is where I levitate. Never stress yourself, keep God first, motivate. Spacing out my thoughts like I'm in two different time zones. I show my true potential, gotta keep reaching my goals. Praying for success, always elevate and grow. I'm the youngest soldier breathing, don't be taking my throne. I was born and raised in D.C., the city I grew up and living. Making a positive impact, you know I'm never switching. Kids imitate their favorite rappers like they're trying to fit in. I'm not a pastor, but I'm preaching like I came with scriptures. Call me the young G.O.D. Cause I show no remorse. I don't do no gossip. Use my verses as the main course. You feel interrogated Why you trying to force or never bite the hand that feeds you. Run back and check your sources. Facts. Don't do the two to beef. You know this ain't the game we play. Never contradict yourself cause you gon' learn the harder way. What can I say? They trying to take me out my element. I'm a work in progress. Never cocky but I'm confident. Keep a small circle. Always pray and never ever change. Take your own advice. That's the only way you elevate. Got an open mind but at the top it's where I levitate. Never stress yourself. Keep God first, motivate, keep a small circle, always pray and never ever change, take your own advice, that's the only way you elevate, got an open mind, but at the top is where I levitate, never stress yourself, keep God first, motivate, I put in work 24-7 like I never sleep, don't be making promises that you can't even keep, never keep. never spread no rumors, gotta think before you speak, I got bars for days, I'm on my first, second, and third degree, they coming for my neck, some call it built up aggression, they had the same effect as a message in every lesson, killing negative vibes, I'm trying to survive, survive. without my Lord and Savior, Jesus. In the way that I will stay alive Facing my demons, all the voices in my head Gotta paint the bigger picture, it's some things you never comprehend I know I ain't perfect, but I know that I deserve it Never ask for handouts, I'm a man, I had to earn it gone Keep a small circle, always pray and never ever change Take your own advice, that's the only way you elevate Got an open mind, but at the top it's where I levitate Never stress yourself, keep God first, motivate Keep a small circle, always pray and never ever change Take your own advice, that's the only way you elevate Got an open mind, but at the top it's where I levitate
that's why I levitate. Never stress yourself, keep God first. Huh. Motivate. How do I motivate in a world full of hate? How do you keep it real in a world full of fakes? Life is moving fast, man, I can't catch a break. But I'ma get it, I'ma get it, however long it takes. You see the look in my face, I wake and say my grace. Mama told me, gotta pray if I want food on my plate. Shaq going up, man, he destined to be great. I'm lucky like number seven, but all these verses get eight straight. Cops still killing, life ain't getting easier for me, I'm still living. Stress and need a million, want it better for the elders and the children. Trying to touch the world, but they act like they don't feel it, so I talk to God. I need that motivation, meditation, I'm putting down this medication, I'm facing racists, murderers, haters, rapists, I'm living on my knees cause some days I can't take it, it's all love on this side you know, I keep the faith God is with me that's wherever I go, and I've been trying to motivate all the ones that I know, if you scared to change tell me how you expecting to grow, huh? keep a small circle, always pray you never ever change, take your own advice, that's the only way you elevate, got an open mind but at the top it's where I levitate, never stress yourself, keep God first, motivate, keep a small circle, Always pray and never ever change. Take your own advice, that's the only way you elevate. Got an open mind, but at the top is where I levitate. Never stress yourself, keep God first. Motivate, motivate. I'm sorry. I always be doing that. I'm sorry. What? Keep going. Keep singing. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Look, look. <laughs> I just look, feel look, like look, nah, he was cycle. singing. They'll, they'll I was enjoying it. <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, like just, just, just recapping. To, it was a lot today. We learned, you know, very inspirational. It's crazy how when you hear someone's story, it can inspire you and impact you to want to go out. And really do more with yourself. And that's the goal with OG Radio. To inspire, to impact, to light that spark. Most definitely. Like, I hope Justin, Gary, I hope all of y'all, Ox, all of y'all that's been on the show, you know, forgive me if I ain't mention you, but all of y'all, y'all definitely inspire me and keep me going. I, me and me, Sean talk all the time about how just the show itself keeps us motivated. And it gives us, you know what I'm saying? Like fulfillment, like you know, that we really making an impact out here, and us to be able to give that back, you know, to y'all, give y'all this content and this platform to do that as well. So you know, trust me, definitely appreciate that. You know, yeah. Um, just closing out the show, I want to say a very special thank you to Sean. Sean, thank, thank you. you. Thanks for having me. A shout out OG Radio. Shout out OG Radio. Thank you, thank you for the shout out. We want to shout you out and. Shout out one more time. Let you uh, let the viewers know where to follow you. At underscore Young Shack two fifty underscore Y U N G S H A Q two five zero at Twitter and Instagram and Facebook underscore I mean Facebook at Sean Francis and under, and also SoundCloud at Young Shack. Young Shack. We'll catch y'all again next Monday, same time, same place. With a very special, we got female boss queens coming in the building. Oh, so they about to get my. I right, bet that. See, since they the first. Women to come in. I'm about to get them the little incentive. I told y'all, 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 y'all BSing on the on the slots right now. So yeah, they gonna get some. I, I said, get the slots while you can. You know what I'm saying? Before it's too late. 
Hey, look, if you don't hear me, you're going to feel me. That's all I got to say. Look, we coming. We coming strong. So, yeah. Yeah. Shout out. But shout out to them coming on the next show. I don't even want to give out no names yet. But it's two. It's two queens coming on the show. So, yes. Can't wait. Until then, thank you for tuning in to OG Radio. It's your girl, Michelle Lorraine. It's CJ. And you are watching OG Radio, the radio station for our generation. Got it. Yeah. Her nigga yeah.